Some people break stuff for the thrill, others are just unfortunate. Count yourself lucky for only breaking a couple of pieces of china in your lifetime. Some of the people in this video went through a much more embarrassing ordeal, destroying priceless masterpieces, all whilst caught on camera. Try not to cringe. Amazing! Number 10. Priceless Clock Smashes this is a tale of why you should pay attention to signs, literally. In the National Watch and Clock Museum in Columbia, Pennsylvania, an elderly couple approached a priceless clock hanging on the wall. Despite a do not touch sign, after taking a picture, the man touches the clock anyway. Unfortunately for him, it proceeds to drop and smash on the floor. This is all caught on CCTV. The couple reposition the clock back on the wall. He tries to hang it for a second time, but this time it's no use, and so he leans it against the wall. The complex clock was made from many moving parts, and so staff watching the CCTV after the incident probably thought he was trying to restart it. The museum later tweeted, This is why we beg and plead with our visitors to please refrain from touching objects in the museums. They said it would take them a few months to restore the clock. Number 9. Man destroys last remaining phonograph. On a live tech TV talk, a guest breaks a one-of-a-kind phonograph tube invented by Thomas Edison himself. The episode, which aired in the winter of December 2002, shows Chris Pirillo handing what has been described as a precious and exceedingly rare Edison record device. Here's the clip. So this is a one-of-a-kind piece. There's no other one like this particular one in the world. And you can see the tracks go this way. And um, it's really cool because it, it records much more accurately than... Oh, f Oh, my God. Um, well, that does happen every uh, once in a while. That can't be good. Uh, now, uh, should, is, is, are you done with that, uh, then? Yeah, I'm done with that. This particular phonograph contained the only copy of Thomas Edison talking to President Benjamin Harrison in 1889. It's thought that because the phonograph tube had been outside in the cold and then taken into a hot lamp-lit studio, this sudden change in temperature, alongside the man's fumbling hands, caused the tube to break apart. Number 8. Woman falls into a sandcastle masterpiece. This is as close to a castle as you can get with sand, with an attention to detail to rival Hogwarts Castle in Harry Potter. In the intro of the video, the sand artist was telling her it took them 17 days to finish the work, and all that was left for him to finish was his signature. Let's have a look at the video. Sí, me vea, mira, por ejemplo, aquí arriba, es que es increíble la puertecita que hay con un, un niño... A... ¡Ah! She then decides to apologize for the next two minutes. As a translation, she says, oh my god. The sand artist simply replies, nothing's wrong, and it's just sand. This may be a classic case of denial, the first in the five stages of grief. It's all in his body language. He can scarcely look at her, and at one point she even offers to pay whatever it takes to replace the value of the castle. She insists to help him until he says, no, 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 and the other reporter tells her to leave him alone. Number 7. Banksy's heart-shaped balloon vandalised Banksy is somewhat of a controversial figure in art. Some call his art vandalism, as it involves painting public walls. However, it's difficult to resist wincing when those depictions, valued in the hundreds of thousands of pounds in some cases, are ruined. In 2014, his mural piece called The Girl with the Pierced Eardrum was discovered with black paint splattered all over it in less than 24 hours after its creation. It's happened so often that Banksy has even made a joke about it by creating a piece showing a man wiping off Banksy's own artwork. During Banksy's 31 days in New York, where he created one new piece of art every day for a month, the media frenzy captured many of his pieces being tagged to either deface his work or for self-promotion of other graffiti artists. However, what was unusual about the recorded vandalism I'm about to show you is that this was done in front of onlookers in broad daylight, and one of them was recording. The vandalism targeted Banksy's iconic heart-shaped balloon with band-aids imagery. As you can see, the video shows a man wearing a white hoodie, inking in his tag name, Omar Nioa, before walking off to cycle away. One inspector rightly says, <laughs> Number 6. Confederate Monument Torn Down Protesters rallying in North Carolina toppled a Confederate statue that was nearly a century old by looping a rope around the bronze statue soldier and pulling it down while recording the process on camera. Protesters claimed the statue was celebrating those who fought to keep slavery. Four people were arrested for participating in the toppling. The video shows one protester, like Spider-Man, climbing the near 12-foot concrete plinth on which the statue rested, then Spidey shooting a yellow rope around its shoulder and underarm before it was pulled from below. Then protesters below rush at it, kicking, screaming and spitting on it. 
Number five, glass sculpture broken by kids while parents watch. In 2014, two children destroyed a glass sculpture described as invaluable. The parents take snaps of their children as they pull and tug on the sculpture, having fun underneath the dividing rope and seeming not to have any concern with their raucous behaviour towards it. That is, until the thing collapses. As the sculpture crashes to bits, the children run away. The glass sculpture was held at the Shanghai Museum of Glass and was titled Angel is Waiting by its creator, Shelley Zhu. The sculpture depicted a pair of angel's wings, all made from glass fragments, and had been on display since 2014. Zhu spent 24 months making it, and dedicated its completion to her newborn daughter. However, it took less than 28 seconds for it to be torn apart. The video went viral. As a warning to all new visitors, the museum has reportedly installed a video screen that plays the CCTV footage of the catastrophic incident on a loop. Number four, boy punches through painting valued at $1.5 million. How strong do you need to be to punch through a valuable painting? The answer is as strong as a small boy. Taiwan's central news agency showed footage of a young man walking by a hanging painting said to be valued at $1.5 million before stumbling. His hand fell right towards the painting and he used it to stop himself falling flat on his face. Unfortunately, the arm that stopped his fall also punched right through the $1.5 million painting. It takes him a moment after brushing himself off for him and others surrounding him to realize the damage he had done. The impressive thing is that the boy manages to hold on to his can of soda during the whole incident, reducing on the whole the amount of monetary damage on the painting. The painting, entitled Flower, was a 17th century old painting and a rarity because it was one of the few actually signed by its painter, Italian master Paolo Papora. It was on display at the Genius Exhibition. Ironic, considering how clumsy this boy was. Number three, man smashes $1 million vase deliberately. In 2014, a man in Miami was arrested for smashing a $1 million vase created by artist Ai Weiwei. What's more, he was captured on camera doing it. Maximo Caminero, aged 51, was charged with criminal mischief after he picked up one of the 16 brightly painted vases. In the footage, a member of staff can be heard asking the man to stop as he lifts the large red vase but he drops it directly onto the floor, sending it into an oblivion of 1,000 pieces. A visitor to the museum happened to have turned their camera at the exact moment when the man picks up the vase, capturing the whole thing on camera. See how it happened. Dancer. These vases were said to be over 5,000 years old. Weiwei dipped them in colored paint with the intention of highlighting their ancient cultural identity. Unfortunately, they did not last more than a few months in Miami. Maximo later said that he smashed the vase in protest to the Perez Art Museum Miami, only showcasing work created by international artists. Maximo, who himself is an artist, said he would be hosting a press conference the next Tuesday to explain his actions in more detail. Number one, woman accidentally destroys $200,000 of art by taking a selfie. On the 14th of June, 2017, a woman visited the 14th Factory Art Exhibition, which was a not-for-profit project held in Los Angeles. Different objects in the art space were held on plinths, supposed to represent crowns. Materials used range from gold and silver to marble. Some sections even contain and actual meteorite stones. All of them were delicately crafted into unique ornate shapes. Then along came this woman, who decided to take a selfie nearby $200,000 of art. However, she lost her balance while trying to get the framing right and stumbled over a pedestal. Like a series of dominoes in a cartoon, this led to one stand after another being pulverized as they crashed to the ground. Twitter was split. Some thought the woman was in fault for being clumsy. Others thought she was just unfortunate. One Twitter post read, this is what it's like to have kids. Another read, the fact this wasn't set up in a way to protect the art is the gallery's fault. We can probably all agree, however, with the tweet by Mathpocalypse, which said, likely whatever you screwed up today is not this bad. If you've made it through the cringe and amazement, be sure to let me know in the comment section down below. Also, make sure to subscribe if you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.